I've resisted the urge to, do, to tidy up because I think this represents me more than tidying up, <laughs> really. So, um, yeah, this is what I look at when I'm working and I'm really happy in my studio. And I look at people I love most. This is Andrew with Holly when she was born, my daughter. This is Ewan when he was tiny. I uh, mean, my dad. That's Elvis is in there because I love Elvis. And this is me and Holly. And Andrew and Holly and Ewan when Ewan was just born. But that's my mum and dad. And Holly and Ewan when they're older and they really want to thank me for including these pictures of them but I do like them. Uh, Andrew and I when we got married and this is a favourite picture of me and my dad when I'm little and it's a double exposure which I love and also it's got flowers coming out of my hair which just makes me happy. Um, me with the children at Beaumaris when they were, I don't think Ewan could walk then. Me with my favourite auntie and my Cinderella slippers. I think my mum had just bought me in town in Woolworths. Um, and I think up here somewhere there is a oh, lovely picture of Holly when she first came. First trip to Wales we came up to see if we were going to come and live here and I think that was at Talacra Beach. She'd never been on the sand before, so that was a big day. I think there's a picture up here of me and my favourite cousin on a swing. Yep. Back in those old grainy black and white days. Smashing. Um, another picture of Holly and Uh These are my sisters, Corinne and Yvonne. Again, they probably won't thank me for showing you that picture, but I love it. And that's Beaumaris again, which was a wonderful day when we first came to Wales. Um, love this picture of Ewan, because he's so cheeky. What else have we got? And Holly laughing her head off with Andrew. And Unreal, which is film team, which is a big part of my life. So I hope that is as good a definition as a little snapshot of me on any given day. And this is where it all started. When I went to see the National Theatre Wales' beach on Pristaton Beach and it was absolutely fantastic and there was so much energy and excitement and wonderfulness in the town. I didn't really want it to end um, but there was the party which was fantastic and then I realised that I wanted to do something positive so I volunteered to run Film Team, which wasn't really Film Team then, it was Young Filmmakers. And this is some of their story. Hello, and we're, going, we're about to be interviewing um, Nick, yeah? Nick Brooks. Nick Brooks. The camera will be at two points of view, so... This one? Yeah. And that one. Yeah, okay. okay. We're going to be sitting there and I'm going to be filming up in the big screen up there so then we get a that, point of view. It's the big yeah. screen and um, there's uh, the chairs. chairs. Okay. So these boys weren't here for your showreel this morning but they know your work. Yeah. Oh okay, fantastic. Hello yeah. no, boys. Hi. So as the months progressed, um, National Theatre Wales asked if we would like Gavin Porter to come up which he did, and we had a great time on an improvisational shoot on the beach. I kept volunteering each week. We had a film club every Thursday, but really the young filmmakers wanted to become film team, the, the ones who came to us. So we had a volunteer summer school, and they wanted to get ready to actually write a script rather than improvise. And that's when we did Unreal. Um, we got lots of prop making out of that. Lots of Ryan volunteered lots of his time to help make props. Um, we spent a lot of time pre-production on that and then Gavin came back up and we shot the film which was great but a very different experience because it took an awful lot more time. 
um, but it was worth it and you can see it at the Hansel of Film site. I think I should let them tell you the rest of their story because they've gone from strength to strength. They're absolutely fantastic. Camera's rolling. Up in the air. Ta-da!